My name is Betty Ann Anderson. I'm from Greater Salem Church. My pastor is the Bishop Allen G. Porter. And I'm a part of the Village Heartbeat. And Village Heartbeat, uh, for this year when we started, immediately gave us a notebook so that we could keep up with our weekly schedule of where we should be. And Village Heartbeat itself means building education, accountability, and together. We also had a tracking sheet where we had to daily keep up with what we did, uh, with whether we walked or whether we climbed stairs. And I was a walker, and since I was a walker, I would always document my walking and how long I walked on the track. We had competition rules that are listed 1 through 16 for all of us, and there will be no exceptions, and we know that. We have our coach for Greater Salem is a student here at Johnson C. Smith. She's been unable to see us one-on-one, -on -one, well, except for one visit because of her conference schedule here at school. But she keeps us, keep up with us by telephone. Uh, our team captain at Greater Salem Church is Denise Caffey and Larisha Poor. And they keep, weekly they always ask, how are you doing? What you doing? How many inches you lost? What size you wearing now? And we laugh about it because all of us have lost inches and all of us have changed our sizes and our dresses and suits. And even some have lost weight in their feet and I get excited about that. We have important dates to remember uh, in our handbook to let us know where we're supposed to be. For example, on tomorrow morning, we're to be at Johnson C. Smith uh, track and we're to arrive at 8.30 and come prepared to walk with our group walk. Uh, and when you come prepared to walk, you really have to walk. You can't complain about getting tired or you uh, feel like you're having a cramp. You just know what to do and you need to stay focused and get it done. Uh, currently, we are in a program uh, at UNC Charlotte with the professor of health and science. And she's having us in class for eight hours per session. And we started on Saturday past. And she compiled a notebook for us on health and wellness and things we should do in order to live long and healthy. And in that class for eight hours with the professor teaching us, it was very strenuous but very helpful. She was able to stop and let us ask questions and she paused and let us take breaks. And she said, I realize it's been a long time since the majority of you have even been in college. And she said, but just bear with me. We will get through this. And our next class will be on the 28th of April at UNC Charlotte. And our final class will be May the 3rd. And on May the 3rd, we have already been assigned a subject to teach as two students. And she, we have to teach it back to our whole class. And in that whole class, there are students from various churches, and they separated the Latino community from the African Americans. And the Latino teacher was teaching in another classroom while our African American professor was teaching us in our class setting. It's gonna be very, very interesting, and our grade will depend upon how well we teach on May the 3rd. After we leave that course, we will be able to teach in our churches as well as in our communities about health and wellness. My back is my, is my back says, do you know your numbers? And this is from Village Heartbeat as well. And every session I go to, I carry my bag so I'll have all my notes in it, my tracking records, my notebook so that I will not forget where I'm supposed to be.